There are countless numbers of world-renowned chess players from past to present generations, but there's a unique and interesting story about our featured grandmaster that we would like to share to all of you, especially to the aspiring chess enthusiasts. Welcome to the Nothing Box, our favorite place to hang out when we're just busy doing nothing. Wesley Saw, a very famous name in the world of chess right now and most seen at the top world chess competitions. Born in the year 1993 from a Filipino Chinese family in the Philippines, he began to learn chess at the age of 7 just by seeing other people playing chess in every corner of their neighborhood in Cavite City. Wesley started to learn more about chess by collecting the newspaper clippings of famous grandmasters since he could not afford to buy a book about chess during that time. He then applied and internalized the strategies he learned by competing with everyone he meets on the street. At his early age, Wesley has already defeated local chess masters and participated in several international competitions. In 2003, he won a title for the tournament held for chess under 10 in Philippines. Through his victory, he earned the rights to represent the country in the World Youth U10 in Greece, the same year he experienced his first international tournament. He became a grandmaster at age 14, making him the seventh youngest grandmaster in the history of chess. After two years, his name was placed in the top 100 in Fides list. Like Manny Pacquiao, Wesley had his share of struggles and difficulties during his teenage years, and he did not get enough support from the chess committee, not to mention that he is living alone after his family migrated to Canada. His passion in chess became his bread and butter to survive. And while struggling to win in the competition, we understand that he might also have felt bouts of anxiety and loneliness during that time. He was adopted by Miss Loris Key and the Kabigting family in the U.S. and supported him to pursue a college degree at the Webster University through a scholarship program. The lack of necessary support from the former chess committee became the last straw on the camel's back for Wesley, wherein he realized that it was the right time to shift to the U.S. Chess Federation. He won the gold medal at the Summer Universiade in Russia in 2013. Unfortunately, he was deprived of the huge prize money from the government that was similarly awarded to the other athletes in different domains. Amidst the power play, Wesley Saw was left holding the proverbial empty bag. He quoted, Because of a quarrel between the kings of the sports bodies, not only did the country refuse to acknowledge my efforts, they refused to give me the 1 million peso prize promised to the athletes who will bring home a gold medal, he lamented. The incident was a blessing in disguise for Wesley to switch to the U.S. Chess Federation and the organization is stepping forward in helping him financially. It is during this time, Wesley's performance improved and he even became number two in the world's ranking next to Magnus Carlsen with a peak rating of 2,822. At present, Wesley is a two-time US chess champion, skilling open champion, and first FIDE World Fisher random chess champion. He is currently participating in the Champions Chess Tour and reached the final stage where he will be facing Magnus Carlsen. Wesley's fans around the world are hoping to see the much-awaited battle between him and Magnus in the World Chess Championship. Who would have known that this intelligent and gifted child from the Philippines would be included in the world's top 10 ranking in chess? That alone, despite of all his struggles in life, is a huge accomplishment as a professional chess player. Wesley is a devout Christian. He reads the Bible every night and attends church every weekend. Did you 
like our topic for today, check out our latest videos and other cool stuff by subscribing to our channel. And don't forget to hit that notification bell to get the latest updates. Till our next video, ciao!